The day starts like any other school day. Students enrolled in Thorncliff Park Public School proudly sing the anthem, but they aren't at school today and haven't been all week. With very heavy hearts, uh, we, we are pulling our children for whole month of uh, September in order to show our protest that uh, we haven't been listened since months. Parents are pulling their kids out of school to protest Kathleen Wynne and the Liberal government's updated sex ed curriculum. The Thorncliffe Parent Association have set up a school in the park for parents unable to homeschool. This uh, school is basically uh, helping uh, for the group schooling for those moms and the parents who are not able to do it themselves or who are at work. So still we have more than 200 children are here and the majority of them at home, they are managing themselves. The updates to the health and physical education curriculum include teaching proper names for body parts to six-year-olds. Yep, all the body parts. And by grade seven, students will learn about the different types of intercourse, including oral and anal. Parents are worried what message the curriculum will send to their children. They are making the children sexual active. They are making the children um, confused about gender identity. Uh, they are exposing our children to STIs. The Thorncliffe Parents Association plans on keeping their kids out of school for the entire month of September. And Khalid says this isn't the first measure they've taken to speak out against the new sex ed curriculum. So it is now seven months that we are on streets and more than three years we are struggling with the Ministry of Education, with the board, Toronto District School Board. But instead of listening to their concerns, Khalid says they've been labeled unfairly. Every time we have been labeled that we are a homophobes and every time we have uh, been labeled that we belong to a particular uh, political party, uh, we want to declare it again that we are not against any community, even LGBTQ, we are standing with them. If they are discriminated, if they are bullied, we will be standing with them. And the same thing, we are also asking the same respect for ourselves too. For the TheRebel.media, I'm Hannah Vanderkoy.